A class of Grand Rapids High School students brought home top rankings for their custom-built electric car. They competed at the annual Shell Eco Marathon competition last weekend, and our Brenda Mack has followed up on their win. It's coming into the finish line right now, looking beautiful. That same car at this year's Shell Eco Marathon John has finished the race. is driven here and custom built on. by the first robotics class of Grand Rapids High School. It started about four years ago with a group of seniors that uh, built the car. The car, a battery electric prototype vehicle, is driven against renowned university teams from all over the world. It's like us going to a NASCAR race with like a Chevy Camaro. Yet their own version of a Camaro came in fourth place. It's pretty awesome. And they are ranked the top high school team in North and South America. We feel like we're on the top of the world. But everybody thinks that this race is, you know, a speed race. It's not. It's an efficiency race. And so. Even though efficiency is the goal, the driver's safety is the first priority. That's why the team focuses heavily on passing technical inspection before anything else. Ready to go here. Fun stuff. One of the crucial aspects to succeeding in this competition is building a speed controller, a tool that wasn't required in earlier competitions. This is the speed controller and the battery. I designed the speed controller myself, mainly self-taught on that for the most part, but lots of trial and error and persistence in it and I've been able to make it through. They say former students and teachers have laid out the foundation and they simply improvised and worked harder each day. If this was higher, it'd be perfect. Okay. Like, Though it has only been a week since their win, the team is already discussing their next design and future plans. In Grand Rapids, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. The students also say one of the most rewarding moments was being able to share their knowledge and learn from the more experienced competitors. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.